Jimmy, you're good. You're good. Ah! Go, 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 The most brutal chimp attack in history. Are you prepared to see one of the most horrifying and brutal things that has ever happened to an animal? Today, we'll take you back in time to one of the most heinous chimpanzee attacks in history. A tale of colossal might, unfettered rage, and sheer muscle. Hold on to your seat as we describe the most horrific chimpanzee attack in history. This is not for the weak of heart. But before continuing, kindly click the bell symbol to subscribe to the channel. The two major protagonists of a story that took place in West Covina, California in the year 999 were St. James and LaDonna Davis. They were high school lovers who lived blissfully in this idyllic town during that era. St. James was a tall, well-built man with a passion for building hot rods and vehicles, while LaDonna was a gorgeous blonde known for her kindness. In 1966, after years of persuasion, St. James finally agreed to marry LaDonna. St. James and LaDonna's story is not just about a couple and their pet chimpanzee, but it's a story of love, commitment, and a bond between two people who faced life's toughest challenges together. So, one year into their marriage, LaDonna was diagnosed with cancer and had to undergo a hysterectomy. This led to her discovery that she could no longer conceive, and she became severely depressed. In a selfless and painful gesture, she even offered separation to St. James so he could start a family with someone who could. But St. James refused and stated they already had a child, a chimpanzee named Mo. Despite LaDonna's inability to have children, the couple never lost their love for each other, and Mo became a cherished family member. The Davises never saw Mo as just a pet, but as a son, a sibling, and a best friend to them both. In 1967, St. James bought Mo back from South Africa to keep him for a couple of years, but he ended up becoming part of the family for the next three decades. Despite being regular married people, the couple raised a chimpanzee instead of a child. However, after Mo bit a female in 99 and a police officer in 98, officials removed him from James's custody. Their love for Mo was so strong that they fought to get him back where he was taken from them. The custody battle was long and grueling, but the Davises never gave up hope. After a lengthy custody battle, he was placed at the Animal Haven Ranch. When they finally visited Mo at the Animal Sanctuary, it was a day filled with joy and happiness. The dedicated couple frequently visited Mo and even went to celebrate his 39th birthday at the ranch in 2005. They enjoyed a slice of cake under a bright sky, but their joy was cut short when two young chimpanzees escaped from their cages and viciously attacked them. LaDonna only lost her thumb, but St. James was hospitalized for six months after suffering terrible injuries. In an attempt to protect himself and his wife, St. James put up a fight, but he was eventually overpowered. He collapsed to the ground and was attacked for at least five more minutes, losing his right eye, fingers, and nose. Chimpanzees even chewed off his genitalia and tore up his left foot before the owner's son-in-law heard the screams and shot the animals dead. St. James, who was 62 at the time of the attack, was released from a medically induced coma after a few weeks and was starting a slow recovery. He had undergone 12 surgeries so far, and the speed of the procedures was slowed down to allow him to heal. He was still connected to a feeding tube, but specialists disconnected his breathing tube. The attack on St. James and LaDonna raises questions about the ethics of keeping wild animals as pets. While it's true that some primates can make great pets, but they are still wild animals with instincts and behaviors that can't be tamed. The attack by Mo on a woman and police officer serves as a reminder that keeping wild animals as pets can be dangerous, and it's best to stick to domesticated animals that are better suited to living with humans. Additionally, Animal Haven Ranch, where Mo was housed, has drawn criticism for its procedures and security measures. St. James and LaDonna never faltered in their love for one another, or in their commitment to Mo in the face of their horrible situation. They kept paying visits to him at the refuge and even established a fund to better care for him and similar creatures. The pair, who was driven to change the world, never considered themselves as victims, but as survivors. World. As a result, the tale of St. James and LaDonna is proof of the resilience of the human spirit, the strength of love, 
and the connection that may develop between two people and their pets. Despite their tragedy, they never lost their love for each other or their devotion to Mo. Their story serves as a reminder of the importance of treating all living creatures with kindness and respect and the impact one act of love can have on the world. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing